in order for you to get a new start on your life, it's really important for you to focus on what it is that your heart desires. And a lot of the times, um, you know, the, the uh, Libras are known to be indecisive and you are very, very slow to make decisions. And the more choices and the more options that open up for you, the harder it is for you to really commit yourself to just one route or one course of action. The advice here is, you know, just uh, listen to your heart and follow, make decisions based on the heart aspect. I feel like that's going to be more beneficial for you in the long run. Because it's going to allow some of those false choices to fall by the wayside. If they already like don't automatically have an emotional appeal to you, just let them go. All right. If you're if you're like dealing with new people, and for some reason there's like um you know, um you you pick up a certain vibe about them. You don't know where it's coming from. You don't know why, and you you're just like no. I think it's just um it's just one of their off days. I'll give them another chance. I don't feel that's going to be in your best interest. So listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition. It's going to give you proper guidance for the rest of this month. Moving forward into the future as well. So um, the reason I say that is, first of all, um, you're showing up here as the Knight of Swords in the reverse position. And this is basically telling you to slow down. And it's basically telling you as well, listen to your heart, okay? Make decisions based on your heart rather than the rational cerebral part of your brain where you get yourself in situations and you try to rationalize it. But if your heart's not feeling it, it's basically your intuition, your gut instinct telling you that you're headed down the wrong path. So move forward and listen to your heart a little bit more. Now let's talk about this reading here. In the past position, we have the tower. This is a pretty um, difficult card. It's in the upright position. So it's basically um, indicative of some jolt to the system, something that you have relied on, that you have depended on, has been uh, problematic for you. And I feel like for a lot of you, it might deal with your comfort. It might deal with, you know, the the, the people, the um environment that you find comfort and stability in so this is like shaky friendships shaky relationships um situations where there might have been a lot of conflict and even you know a, a change in scenery a change in a housing environment okay which brings us to the present moment we have the five of wands and the five of wands is greatly about conflict this is some type of conflictual um situation that you have with another person I do feel that this is somebody from your past that you have an extensive history with, okay? And I do sense as well, for those of you in relationships, it might revolve around third party, like flirtation and things like that. I don't feel that it's outright infidelity or anything like that. I feel like it's minor flirtation. It's minor like stepping out of thinking or suspicions of other people stepping out of the relationship and things like that. I also feel like for a lot of you, this might just be friendships, I sense that um, if you've been, I, I feel almost as if you have deep rooted friendships, you have friendships with people that you've known for a while. And once in a while, it is really important to reassess if they're contributing to your growth, to your betterment, or if the people around you, surrounding you have been um, gossiping, like people you trust gossiping or sharing, divulging your deepest secrets. So I feel like that's an energy that a lot of you might have dealt with in um, February even in the beginning of March, and you're in a position where you could potentially as well go through interview processes. And um, this is a card about interview as well. If your potential employers are discussing you in a way, it's kind of like gossip, but it's more like concrete um, talks about you where they're trying to assess your skills. They're trying to, they're discussing you amongst each other. Um, just to see if you have what it takes to um, proceed with whatever it is that you are applying for, okay? So it can play out in, in those two ways, but I definitely feel there were situations where you're getting like a lot of, um, <clears throat> you were stepping out of your, you were put out of your comfort zone. You were going through, jumping through a lot of hoops. I feel like there was a lot of busy energy around you. You might not have had felt like um, you might have felt very destabilized as a result of not being at home or not having a clear, concrete, stable environment to um, really feel restful and to really feel um, feel good in. OK, so there might have been a lot of travel associated with this as well in the um, February and March. 
the Knight of Swords is the fastest moving knight in the deck. And it's also, there was a lot of momentum happening in the past. And I feel like things are starting to stabilize itself. Okay, things are stabilizing. But because you were so used to all that travel, all the movement that was happening in the past, life is, seems as if it's, a, it's slowed down dramatically. And it seems like everything is so... Um, it's not exciting as much as you'd like, okay? So I feel like in the process of um, trying to go out and seek excitement, I feel that it wouldn't be beneficial for you. The The slow has to happen. We, You know, life is an, a series of ebb and flow. So whatever excitement, momentum that was happening in the past, now's the time for you to really take stock and plan out the next step in your life. And I feel like decluttering your environment is going to be a more productive use of your energy because I feel like you're fired up and you're ready to go again. And in fact, there's a lot of stability here in this spread, which indicates to me that phase of your life is over. Is now really uh, important for you to settle down. Think about long-term planning when it comes to where you want to live, where you want to be. Think about the practicalities surrounding new housing environment and your new future as well, okay? Crowning this reading is the Six of Cups, and this is a really, really good card. Um, in the Rider Waite deck, it is a card about, you know, having a soul connection with another person. It's also having some type of, um, I'm, I'm reading it in a different light in this deck, mainly because this is a card about tears of happiness. So there is, we also have the Star card, and both of these cards indicate to me wish fulfillment coming at you very, very quickly and rapidly, okay? Crowning this reading is something that you really want, and you really want to materialize it, and you really want to um, celebrate. You want it to come into your life so because it has always been like a childhood dream. That's what I feel like. Something is being achieved this month where you are going to be able to whatever it was that was, you know, your childhood dream is coming to fruition. It's basically coming to light and you are going to be able to achieve it. So not only will you achieve that physical, tangible thing that you've been wanting, pining since you were a child, it's also lighting a new path for you to move forward, okay? And I feel that it would be really, really good for you to just take a moment and plan out in a realistic way how this experience, how you're going to make the most out of this experience and what your steps are, concrete steps are for the next few years, all right? So I feel like it, it seems to me like um, March was um, a really, really good month for a lot of signs in general in terms of propelling their life forward. And it's not just a, a small series of changes. I feel like they're big sweeping changes that will require you to basically, you know, get a handle on it and to really solidify some plans around it in order to um, make sure that success is not an option, basically. I feel like some big momentous sweeping changes is coming into your life and you're getting something that you've always desired since you were a child and I feel like it's bringing in really new good energy. You are very, very ecstatic and very excitable and I feel like you can't even contain your excitement. I feel for a lot of you, this might be, I, I don't feel like it's love or things like that. It can be. But what I'm sensing more is like it's a it's a more it's more like long term achievements. OK, so whatever you classify as achievements, this can be work, this can be school, this can be just, you know, getting some type of grants, something long term, something that's going to affect you in the long run, like for the next um, phase of your life. And I would say five, seven years almost. All right. What's coming through as well, we have in the advice position, we have the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands shows up as a fire sign. So this is uh, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. So this is an energy that um, the advice here is, um, as the advice, it's not so much of a person because it's in the advice position. That once again, going back to the indecisiveness, going back to, you know, taking charge and taking initiative, this is something that you are going to have to do. So the advice here is not to rest on your laurels, but to really look at this opportunity for what it truly, truly is. And it's once in a lifetime, I feel, for a lot of you. So you really want to nurture it. You really want to foster it. So that basically means building plans, concrete plans, lay down some guidelines or something like that in order for your situation to 
basically come to fruition and to basically I, I feel like you have a once in a lifetime opportunity is not to be taken lightly okay and this is something I want to emphasize as well that you were being groomed for and I feel like through your sheer determination and hard work you were able to achieve it so the work is not over yet it's within grasp or at least it's coming it's emerging from the sky in order to fall into your periphery so the hard work is not over yet so it's not time to take a step back and detach yourself it's really important for you to foster it okay so this is basically the fairy godmother card it's basically telling you to nurture it, continue to nurture your skills. If you have landed like an opportunity of a lifetime in terms of research, for example, spend the next few months between now and when the new project starts to really um, brush up on your skills, to really study up, because I feel like this is an energy that is telling you you want to start it off and you want to start it off right. So that means accumulating knowledge in the meantime, okay? With the fairy godmother card in the reverse position, I feel like one of the things they want to emphasize is um, Libras. I feel it's almost like um, you know where you're headed, and you know that the next the next phase of your life is going to be very very uh, challenging, not in a bad way. And going back to the um, going back to the yearly reading, I did mention for Libras, I believe that this is a year of very, very steep learning curves. So I feel like this is what the, the cards are telling you, that you have some challenges ahead. Even though you have achieved this, even though there, you have overcome a lot in your life, it's really important to persevere, push forward. This is a really powerful year for you in terms of um, creating a legacy for yourself, in terms of like um, creating that that foundation for you in terms of like accumulating knowledge so that towards the end of the year you can soar and you can be okay so that's what I'm feeling like it's not that the universe is abandoning you with the fairy godmother card in the reverse it's that they want you to know the next few years will be very very um, challenging it is going to require hard work and dedication it's not a year for the next few years it's not a time to slack off so get all the fun in right now and I feel like for the next phase, whenever you implement the next phase, it's going to be pretty much hit the ground running. And whatever you put in is what you're going to get out of this situation. So be very, very realistic about it, okay? I do feel like, I do sense that um, there's a lot of preparation work before the new phase begins. So if it's a new job, there's some preliminary work, research that you have to do. If it's a new relationship even that you feel is going to bring you a lot of new this is new relationship if it's like a new phase in your life where you might have um, broken up or divorced a partner and I feel like somebody else might come through for you um, it's there's a lot of prep work that needs to be done on your end before you can re-engage or before you start the new thing okay so external to your environment we have the magician in the reverse position the magician in the reverse in your external environment indicates to me deception and it, it can indicate um, manipulation coming in from your your people around you so I feel friendships gossip so I feel like it's coming through from friendships this is a time for you to reassess the information that you're getting from other people especially if you're dealing with another uh, air sign so Aquarius Gemini Libra and especially if you're dealing with a fire sign um, Sagittarius Leo and Aries and you know obviously um, this is not going to apply to all but I want you to be careful about just um, distortion of information and just um, the the information that comes through to you through to you if it's if, if if it's coming in from like one other person, you want to be very, very careful and just to see like what you see is really what you're getting. Because I feel like somebody is trying to sell you a dream. I feel that way. Somebody's trying to sell you a dream. And unless you filter through this information, you might not, you, you might fall for it and you might end up very, very disappointed. 
The other thing I'm sensing as well is if it's coming from like um, friends and, you know, things like that. Um, if someone is like selling you a dream and I feel like your intuition will kick in and it's telling you, oh, that's not going to work. So, you know, it's best not to do that. Okay. It's just best not to get involved. If so, if your hunches are telling you something is wrong or it's too good to be true, it probably is for the rest of this month. So be very careful. In terms of your hopes and fears, I feel like a lot of you have put a lot of stock into this new endeavor. We have here the Nine of um, Cups, which is a wish card. This is a card about fear of uh, disappointment, fear, fear of failure, fear of like worst case scenario. So if, for example, you've been waiting on some once in a lifetime research opportunity, career opportunity, something coming in very swiftly, and you're just um, thinking as if um, I don't deserve it, I don't know if I'm good enough. Well, the thing here is you definitely have an offer on the table for you, okay? So I feel that you just want to be careful, but if this is like some long-term, some long-range plans that you have prepared for and especially if it is like a childhood dream of yours and finally it's coming in for this month I feel that it can be realized and it can be very very fruitful but the planning stages that you you're going to have to take surrounding that dream to make it come to fruition or to make sure that it is stable enough it's going to be very important because I feel like in the outcome position it can go one of two ways first of all there is an offer for those of you who are um single and even those who are in stable relationships i definitely feel there is a portal open for past relationship partners to come in be very careful if you have been engaged or you know it, if you have been like well possibly engaged if you were engaged with an air sign or a fire sign be very very careful i don't feel that um the situation is going to end up very nicely if you are re-engaging with uh, an ex, I rarely feel that that can work out with exes. I just don't feel that it's a good idea overall, okay? There is an offer coming through from your end, and I, I definitely feel this is like soulful communication where somebody is um, basically telling you... Um, either, you know, re-engage with me in, in this relationship or there's something like that. I definitely feel that um, you, you want to be, just be careful, listen to your heart, listen to your heart and see what it wants. If your gut and your heart tells you, I love them, but I feel like something is off, you're probably better off leaving it alone, okay? And I know that it's, it's easier said than done because oftentimes our heart tells us one thing and our mind tells us another. But I'm not, I'm seeing this as like, I mentioned before, listen to your heart. Your heart is like your gut, your intuition as well. So despite how you feel, if you feel like something is off, most likely it is. So trust it, okay? You are coming into very, very intense spiritual development as well as insights, as well as um, seeing through the veneer, seeing through the superficiality of other people and their promises. You are also um, in a position where you are going to have to basically wake up and do some um, long-term planning is what I'm sensing, okay? And obviously this is not going to apply to all. I've known um, quite a few Libras who are very, very like um, on top of the game and, you know, who are very methodical because Libras uh, as the, um, is the, like the, the most concentrated and the most directed air sign of the Zodiac. So I feel that you, once you put your mind to something, you know, it, despite the indecisiveness, once you decide on a course of action, you, you, things usually come to success with you. But what I feel is like in this situation, it basically means the hard work is not over yet. You have to still plan some more. You have to do some preparation before you start this new venture. Okay. So for those of you who have been dealing with really, really like um, difficult situation when it concerns relationships and you feel like you can't trust again, I feel like a new love situation and it, it seems to be a very strong karmic link with another person is coming through okay however there is some preparation work that needs to happen on your end first 
to heal up your past, to grieve your past, to grieve the, you know, to mourn that process, to mourn the passing away of one thing before you can begin another. Okay, that's just the natural progression of life. We can't step like um, into new things if we're still got one foot in the old thing. So that's just the way life works. Okay, that's just the way energy works. So make sure you clear up your energy field before you step into the new venture. Likewise, I feel like for those of you who, are, who this applies to as a project, a major, major work assignment or something like that, that you've dreamt of, and finally it's like within reach, there's still that last leg of the journey that needs to be pushed through. So that means doing the preparation work for yourself to make sure you're off to a good start. If you're starting at a new company, do, you know, do some preliminary background on that company. Look at their pay scale. Look at their glass ceiling. Look at their, um, um, I guess, like their their opportunities for promotion, and and figure out what's the best way for you to streamline yourself to get into the the, not only the door. I feel like a lot of you are already in the door, so you're trying to find ways to advance and to create, you know, like to make the opportunity the best that it can be. I feel like it's going to be much better for you to start planning now because I feel like it's not time to rest just yet. You can't sail. You can't coast just yet. Okay, so in alignment with that yearly reading, it's um, it's a gradual climb. So the, the, the learning curves are a little bit steep in your next environment. So prepare yourself now. Do the preliminary work needed in order to expand yourself, in order to expand your knowledge base and things like that. Okay, so... I feel that it's going to be a very uh, fruitful next two weeks. At least good news are coming through, all right? But um, especially for those in love relationships, um, I feel that it would be really, really important for you if you have a partner right now and there's rumors circulating around and you're catching wind of it regarding your partner, I feel that your partner is sincere and I feel like you might want to reassess or look at where the information is coming from. I feel there might be jealousy around your environment and it's not good. So confront the source of the jealousy, con confront the people that are, you know, if it's linked up with rumors, you can't let them get away. You need to hold them accountable for the things that they're saying about other people. So this applies to, you know, not only if it's about your significant other, but you want to hold people accountable for their actions and especially for their words, okay? And especially if their words are like hurting somebody's reputation, for example. So holding people accountable, I feel like that's something you're going to have to step up and do. And I feel like you're going to have to take, a de take an offensive stance, so this is basically standing up for the things that you believe in as well, all right?